we're here to open some mail, because we have some. Uh, this is going to be a little different from previous mailbags, because I'm sitting down. Uh, this one is from Toby from Tennessee. Says, this toy is meant to represent a hadrosaurid of the Allura Titan genus. We did not have an Allura Titan. Hey! That's, uh, I mean, that looks like an Allura Titan to me. Toby only recently discovered our show and was inspired to send this to us by an episode of Star Trek Voyager. I know which one he means. They found an uh, alien species that was descended from Earth hadrosaurids somehow. Yours in dinosaur fandom, Toby of Tennessee. Thank you, Toby. Next we have one from Australia, from Ben. I don't know, I can't be more specific than Australia because I don't know the geography of that region. Well, there's a bunch of letters and stuff, I'm not... Hey, a letter! To Steve and the Your Dinosaurs Are Wrong team, that's you. Uh, firstly, thank you for a fun and informative series. As a fellow dinosaur enthusiast and biologist, I appreciate the effort, work, and love you put into your work. Your Dinosaurs Are Wrong is easily one of my favorite channels on YouTube, and one that I've happily recommended to anyone and everyone I know who shows even a passing interest in dinosaurs. Uh, at time of writing, there's no Your Dinosaurs Are Wrong content for Australian dinosaurs. You are correct. Uh... Which is not really surprising because there's not many Australian dinosaur toys. However, managed to find some to send in so you can get some Aussie dinosaurs on your world map. Uh, we have an Australovenator wintonensis. That's not an Australovenator. That's an Australovenator. We have a Minmi paravertebra. I... I don't know if I knew that Minmi was from Australia. I feel like I should have known that. Oh, note. This model may be based more on the fossil later reclassified as Kunbarasaurus. Well, we like those. We love having toys that are the now the wrong genus. Uh, Mutabarasaurus. I think we had a Mutabarasaurus already. Sent by another Australian, as a matter of fact. Hey, it's it's exactly this toy. It is a nice Mutaburosaurus toy. And... And I assume this is also Mutabur... Oh yeah, it is! Huh. <laughs> That's almost an ontogenetic state. Like, I wonder if this is supposed to be... A sub-adult, and this is supposed to be an adult? Nah, it's probably just lazier design. They put in effort to, like, get the nose right, but then little else. And, uh, Roetosaurus, which I have never heard of. It's a sauropod. Oh, it's, it, that's kind of rare. You almost never see sauropod toys rearing. Oh, that's even... it won't even show up on the close-up, but... Roetosaurus. I, yeah, I don't know anything about Roetosaurus. He's nubbly. He is nubbly. I wonder if he's supposed to be, like, a saltosaur? Based on, I, I don't know how much I should take this toy's word for it, but based on the feet, I'd assume it's a more basal sauropod. Neat. Yeah, we have a, a relatively a relative dearth of sauropod toys of any kind, other than like Diplodocus and Apatosaurus. So thank you, Ben. Okay, next we have one from Ernesto in Spain. Uh, 
Oh, these are from uh, Dracorexian. Oh, no, Discoid. Yeah. He found this. He told th this one we've already actually had. I opened this ahead of time, and this is actually in our Amargosaurus episode because it's the most dragon like Amargosaurus. Um, but then with that, there's also this, which I think is supposed to be Dinochirus of all things. I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Dinochirus, but it might be a Therizinosaur. Um, I'd have to look up what he, he, he sent me a message about these. But it's, it, that's just, it's a monster. It's like something you'd see in a stop motion surrealist cartoon. And a Protoceratops, which we only had like two Protoceratops so far. Oh, this one's even labeled. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you, Jacorexian. We have... No return address. It's just been shipped from the manufacturer. Is there a correspondence? No correspondence either. I don't know who sent this. But it's a shirt. It's a somewhat large shirt, as a matter of fact. This is my human costume. I am really a dinosaur. Mm. <laughs> Should I put it on? Mm. That completely envelops my shirt. <laughs> which is not how t-shirts usually work for me. Oh, it is messing up my mic. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> well, thank you whoever sent this. This is from Kevin in California. There's a postcard from the Petrified Forest National Park. And there's a dinosaur. It is a... Oh, it's an iguanodon. Okay, cool. It's an iguanodon that doesn't want us. There we go. Dear, your dinosaurs are wrong. Thanks for all the awesome videos and content. I have been a paleo lover my entire life and just graduated with a degree in paleoarchaeology. Congrats. I wanted to send you my favorite dino, Iguanodon. If you have the time, I'd love an episode on him. When I was little, Dinosaur was one of my favorite movies. So that's the, the Disney movie with the Iguanodon main characters. Uh... But I just called it Aladar. So here's a little Aladar for your shelf. Mmm. Well, this is better than the ones in the movie. Just gonna throw that out there. Only included a little art. Next, Charlotte from the United Kingdom. Dear, your dinosaurs are wrong. I'm a big fan of your series. I discovered it during lockdown here in the UK, and it has definitely kept me going. Glad to hear it. Uh, I was five years old when Walking with Dinosaurs first aired on TV, and it absolutely captivated me. I was a bit older than that, but same. Uh, my parents bought me several Walking with Dinosaurs toys as a child, including a toy Utahraptor, my favorite dinosaur. Now, as an adult who has rediscovered her love of these creatures through your show, I wanted to contribute. I was able to get a hold of both the Utahraptor and Iguanodon Walking with Dinosaurs toys from 1999 on eBay. I hope you enjoy them. No need to send them back. Yours, Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte. I knew that this was... Just looking at it. This is the Walking with Dinosaurs Utahraptor. That also appears in Europe in that program for some reason. <laughs> Which... It's a really good design, except for the whole, you know, we know that they were feathered now thing. Uh, actually, there's a lot that's wrong with it now because um, the proportions of Utahraptor are quite different from this. It is a really nice toy, though. 
Uh, anyway, and the other one is the Iguanodon. Look at those feet! What? I've never seen an Iguanodon portrayed with a... A reversed hallux, I guess, is what that is. It's got little, like, clover feet. Or, uh, shamrock feet. Four-leaf clover. <laughs> That's weird. I think people are hinting that they want Iguanodon. I, we have a number of Iguanodon now. Yeah, like, we got this one recently. And we have a couple of others. We have, like, the little standy-uppy ones. Yes, uh, thank you again, Charlotte. Iguanodon would be a good subject. Already have a lot of art for it, even. We have a number of items from Tyler and his mom, Michelle, in Pennsylvania. Who always draws a little black dinosaur seal on the backs of the envelopes. Mm -hmm. Yay. Dear, your dinosaurs are wrong. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you, I hope you're doing well. I really enjoy your videos and hope you're doing well trying to avoid the COVID that's going on. Let's hope we can get through it and hope it will end soon. Yes. Anyway. Uh, da -ba -da. The printed picture is from a comic called Cretaceous. I have not heard of this. Cretaceous by Tad Galusha. Uh, the dinosaurs are not very accurate. True. I don't have much to say about it on account of I haven't seen it, but you... Just based on the cover art, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that it's not the most uh, interested in accuracy. Oh, and this part is from um, Tyler's mom, Michelle. This is from my son Tyler. Uh, he watches your videos, hope you like them. Uh, and thank you for making your videos. Well, thank you. So we've got some artwork of one million years BC, which is those old, actually I think it's a whole series of like Italian made cavemen fighting dinosaurs movies. And then, okay, so Tyler also watches Gendy Tartakovsky's Primal and makes fan art of it. Which is very much in the same, like, tradition as those old um, Cavemen and Dinosaurs movies, being an animated show about cavemen and dinosaurs. Here's a Cryolophosaurus as Pingu the Penguin, doing the, the thing, the Newt Newt thing. I mean, I would watch a show that was just a claymation cryolophosaurus having adventures. I always included a whole comic book that he made. Well, thank you, Tyler. All kinds of art. We've got a, uh, some kind of parave. Sorry if my cursive spelling isn't good. I'm afraid I can't actually read what it's supposed to say, but it is definitely some manner of parave. Like the color scheme. And some fan art of Raptor Red, which is that book that Backer wrote about, well, Utah Raptors, actually. And last but not least, they actually did send also a toy. This is the same manufacturer as made our uh, Amargosaurus. It's the um, Terra by Batat. And this is a Dasenturus, which we did not have. We don't have a whole lot of Stegosaurs, but slowly we are building up a, a library of Stegosaurs. So thank you very much, Tyler and Michelle. That reminds me that I completely spaced and forgot to thank the person who sent us our Amargosaurus from the episode. This was from Matthew in California. He sent us a uh, years ago, sent this in like 2017. Um, so sorry for not giving you a little pop-up. I'm working on a better filing system for our inventory of dinosaurs and that shouldn't happen again, but it probably will because I forget things. Next. This is from... You know who this, this is from, don't you? Um. 
I believe it was from one of our Discord members. Mm, and that's what it was. Right, right, right. Um, pay screen. Gotcha. Because it's all it says on the box is Safari Limited because these are shipped direct yeah. from Safari Limited. Oh, they gave us a shopping bag. So if we got that wrong, thank you to whoever it was. Yes, thank you to whoever it was, but... But also thank you, T-Screen, if we got it right. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Toys that teach. But I do the teaching. It's a nice little bag. It is a nice little bag. Little. Uh, we've got a couple of rather large toys here. I'm going to open the bag. They're about to lose their collector's value. <sighs> this is a... Edmontosaurus. Okay, cool. That's a pretty good Edmontosaurus, too, now that I'm looking at it. I'm not sure about the forelimbs. But I like that they included the little fleshy crest on the head and everything. Yeah, that's a pretty good Edmontosaurus. I'm not sh Were their necks that short? I'm not sure. Maybe. And we have a... Uh, hey, this bag's open. We have a... Camarasaurus. Sweet! I... I don't remember whether we had a Camarasaurus. You'd think I would know that since I just spent two days inventorying all of our dinosaurs. I, d I don't think we had one. Yeah, excellent. I've been wanting to do Camarasaurus. This one has heft. That's a, that's a robust dinosaur. So thank you again for the Safari Limited toys. Those are cool. Our last box is from, well, it's from what it is. I'm just gonna show you what it is. Ugh. The people that make this tabletop game, Tree Ceratops, which is a good company name. Is there a logo on the front? Yeah, it is, down at the bottom. Um, it's a uh, little tabletop card matching game about evolution, essentially, but like through a sort of cartoon storybook lens of like, you know, you're going to evolve a, a gazelle head and a giraffe body and so forth, um, which is a cool premise. And I like the art style. It's a very charming art style on this game. Um, this game being Darwin's Choice. Darwin's Choice, yes. <laughs> Did I forget to even say the name? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, you know more about this than I do, actually. Um, well, they contacted us one day um, and were like, hey, we have a Kickstarter for this game and we're just looking for people basically in the paleo community who want to talk this game up. And I'm like, hey, we'll talk this game up, because we took a look at it, and like Steven just explained, we really liked it for what we saw in that. And it's like, yeah, we'll try and help you get to your next tier. I think it was, um, it was already funded, but they were trying to put more things in the game. Oh, okay. And we offered to take a look at it when they were done, if they wanted, and they're like, yeah, sure. So, um, we're thinking we're going to do some streams kind of like our coloring book streams so we'll set it up and actually just sit and play and just chill and chat with anyone who wants to chat while we're doing it yeah so next time we do a chill something stream. something time stream which we've been meaning to do for a while but haven't gotten around to uh we'll uh we'll take a look at that in depth i have to confess i don't actually know much about the game except what was on the kickstarter though. oh yeah me either so, yeah. I, I know that it's very pretty. I don't actually know how it's played. Yeah, so we'll be learning along with you guys while we play this, how it works and everything. So should we mention that we do have more mail? We do have more mail. This is part one. Yeah. 
Um, this is We're, mostly pre-Amargosaurus Yeah, I, <laughs> most of this we received before we had shot Amargosaurus, as evidenced by the fact that one of the things was in Amargosaurus. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had a bit of a backlog on mail, and we're trying to get caught up here. So join us for part two next time. <laughs>